Aloha everybody, and boy do I have a special treat for you all. I am actually, thanks to the permission of the property owner and the neighbor of the property owner, I am currently in Fissure 24, and this is just amazing. Um, yes, this may be a little dangerous. Uh, don't think of any eruption or anything like that will happen while I'm out here. Sulfur is my biggest concern, but so far it's mostly just steam, and I haven't um, smelt, but just a small few little traces of sulfur. So we're all good. Uh, I do apologize if for some reason the lens goes foggy, but there is steam out here, and I have been having a problem with the with just that so where we're going now is over to the mouth of the fissure this is where a lava fountain was emanating from the fissure crack of 24 and it is unbelievable now i'm not going to get too close to this edge just give you an idea of where i'm standing and i'm going to reach the camera out luckily i can turn the viewfinder around and we'll take a look down the hole Okay, oh, and the lens just fogged up. And that's because of the steam coming out of the hole. Okay, and of course, if we look up this way, now well, we see this is part of the, the cone that was being built from the lava fountain that was erupting. And I've got so many still images that I've been taking out here, and they are just some amazing formations out here. So. We will be including those in a look at that there, of course. But for now, we're going to take a look at this fissure system. And it just is amazing. So what you didn't see, which was behind us up here, this is the, the cone wall. I'll do a 360 for you. Well, maybe more of a 180. Because the other part of the, the opening is kind of like fissure eight. It's kind of a horseshoe. I just, I really just don't know what to say, people. Um, it is just amazing. It, it, I feel like I'm on Mars. I really do feel like I'm on Mars. And it just, I'm in awe. I'm awestruck. I can honestly say that's what I am. I am awestruck. And of course, there we have Fissure 8. And it is like, like I said, it is kind of steamy out here today. And uh, I do have a special little photo um, I'm pretty sure I caught it with the camera, which we will be showing that later, but it was a whirlwind tornado up there on Fissure 8, and it was actually located right about in this general area, center of the screen, as you can see where that steam is, is rising up there. From the left, the steam actually come across the, the surface of the fissure uh, cone, and there at the end where it dissipated, it uh, whipped up into a little tornado vortex, which was just amazing to see. So, okay, I gotta watch my step here, so let me zoom back out all the way. Oh, goodness. So, boy, there's just so much. Just so much. I mean, look at, look at this. Just look, look at, at it. There. Yeah, look at that there, as Scott just said. And yes, look at that there. I just, it's, that's at least, oh, 20 feet above me. So this is what's in front of me. And so we're gonna continue going out because there's more I wanna show you. I just wanna start with the inside of figure 24 um, because it was just spectacular. And all the yellow you see and the greens are of course sulfur deposits. And just amazing. I wanna, I wanna go through there up to that hole, but uh, I say no, because as you can see, right? There, the tephra is covering uh, a hole that has a small rock on top of it. Right there, center screen. So I will not go that way. Instead, I will try to come up over this way where I see this nice solid piece of lava. At least I think it's solid. And I just want to want to get a look over here because I can't really see. I don't think there's a hole down there, but. Uh, yeah, the sulfur, I mean, with all the sulfur here, there's gotta be a fumarole down there somewhere. 
But just look at that. Like I said earlier, it's like being on Mars. Just amazing. And of course, as like during the eruption, I'm still lost for words with, with what I'm seeing. This is the first time I've been out here myself. And I just, I just get lost. I just can't stop looking at everything and anything because, I mean, look at, look at the color. Look at the color on there. I mean, I'm trying to zoom in, people. And look at that white. Just stark white. Just amazing. And then if you look at this, that there, that right there, that's a lava splatter from the cone or from the, the fountain that ultimately landed on cooler lava and it just stuck just like a, a splat of paint and there's just every color every color you can think of it out here Whew, okay and we're going to move on <laughs> that was fun we slid down the rock I was standing on we, I did not fall through okay and just to give you an idea of what the terrain looks like where I'm walking, we got sulfur right here. Right there. And it's just like little granules. They're, they're huge granules, though. There we go. So, just to give you an idea. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Just amazing. To see sulfur you know, just precipitated out onto the ground like that. Okay, now we're gonna go out here, and of course you see up there in the distance our favorite little tree, acting as the landmark for the edge of Nohea. So as you can see, I'm pretty much on Nohea Street, or what was Nohea. Of course, so here, some more formations. So I got photos of all this stuff, and I will be showing y'all uh, in a future episode of look at that there. So don't forget to check that out And of course, you know, I'll let y'all know when it's available and all that wonderful stuff and then look at this formation This just looks like It just looks like a I don't know what it looks like, but it is just beautiful absolutely beautiful And then of course we have its neighbor Which of course is much bigger Oh, and for everybody that said the last time I used this camcorder that the wind jammer thing was working nicely, thank you. Uh, yes, it is. You can still hear the wind, so we still have our ambient sounds, but yet you can hear me crystal clear, which is nice. So we're, we're coming up here to this little feature here. Look at this. Look at that bear. I mean, this just looks like something from a sci-fi movie just the colors alone. I mean, I don't even, I don't even know how to begin to describe some of these things. I know I keep saying that, I'm sorry, it must be boring to listen to. But, uh, but it is what it is, everybody. Oh, Scott actually from about Hawaii Tours is out here with me, and he wants me to show you something. This is the current temperature of this little formation. 177, 179, 183. Oh. So I'd say with the wind blowing, it's probably around 175. Ooh. That was 197. Actually, go a little bit closer. That way we've got the wind messing with us. Oh, I'm fogged up. 182 was the highest. So I'd say this is anywhere between oh. 195. I saw 199. Okay, so this is somewhere between 175 and 200 degrees, which is pretty hot. I mean, oh, 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 o
340. Wow. Wow. And wow's right. So, okay, everybody, that pretty much does it. Uh, there's going to be probably no editing on this video, uh, maybe just a tad. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, I do appreciate you joining us. And as usual, you have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening. Oh, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks, everybody. Mahalo. Aloha.